So I think that uh, we definitely were not aware of it. Um, it's definitely concerning. Uh, I happen to also be a physician. I know about some of the implications of uh, ingesting E. coli. Not so good. So um, I think, you know, we probably would have still come up here, but we probably would have just stayed at the hotel pool and been very disappointed that we couldn't have the, the Lake George experiences here. I mean, I guess if there's been a problem, I would definitely hope that they would uh, maybe mark it or announce it, that it was tested today and that it was safe. Whatever the levels might be, that might make it uh, us feel more comfortable sending our children into the water. I think that if, if something along those lines is going to be shared publicly, it needs to be put into context of what the level of risk is for vacationers, um, especially in this current climate when a lot of information is being disseminated that's not put into context. People, I think, generally have become very untrustworthy of, uh, or untrusting of news and media and things that they can, that can appear to be fear tactics that are not put into context otherwise. And I think because life has basically been shut down for the last year and a half, people are very willing to take, I think, more risks to have a good time and to go on vacation. So I, I think if, if something like that is going to be stated publicly, we need to have more information so that people can make more conscious decisions for themselves and the level of risk for their families. You, know, you kind of have to put your faith in the, the people who are making those decisions and then you hope you kind of hope for the best. Yeah. Well, we didn't know about it. We looked at all the uh, Lake George things on the website. And stuff. We still didn't hear about it. I don't really think it's such a big, de big deal. It's open today. The weather's beautiful. Let's hope for the best. I mean, E.C.O.L.A. is not really a good thing, so the fact that it's, it, it's in the beach, in the water, and just letting people take the swim without any, no concern, yeah. it's kind of concerning. Like, I'd at least like to know, you know, but I think we could at least have a sign up, like yeah, you said. Yeah, it's like common sense, like, please keep a sign up in the front of, like, most uh, beaches or even pub popular beaches like this, talking about it, saying, like, hey, it's potential for a year, we're keeping it on our radar and testing, so, you know, just Like, at least give people the choice, you know, yeah. like, they Don't can keep them stand in the dark. The place is still beautiful, the town is amazing, a lot of history and everything, I and mean, you can't go wrong coming here. Just yeah. do better. Uh, my name is Mustafa Al Kardeni, and the business is The Shirt Shack and Lake George Souvenir. We've been in the area for uh, over 10 years now. Well, I think the beach is a big part of tourism here, but it's not the main. So even if it closes, people will still come here to enjoy the beautiful views. Yeah. But uh, of course, I'm concerned if it keeps happening, uh, you know, like people will start looking for another beach destination. <laughs> Come <laughs> on.